Hi friends. Uh, I wanted to uh, share a video today. Uh, I've never done an instructional video, but I wanted to showcase some of the products that I sell and just a little uh, kind of how I did them. And um, I did, uh, I do sell in my Etsy shop. Um, they're called Junk Journal Inserts. Um, this is a small one. I sell them in sets of five, three small and two large, and um, I'll show them all to you. Uh, I make them with uh, corrugated cardboard, and then um, I rust these metal prong fasteners, and I sell them in my shop. Um, this is what it looks like by itself. Um, you can add pages to it or take them away if you don't like what uh, is in there. Or you can make them yourselves. You can, they're a lot of fun to make. Um, you can buy the fasteners. I sell the fasteners and this is how they come. They come in uh, two pieces and this is the where you add the paper to. And then this is the, the fastener. And I, I sell those, and I just wanted to show you what I did with them. Um, this first page is a piece of vellum, and I added a piece of lace, and then some rhinestones. And then each one is a little different, but it's usually about uh, seven or eight pieces of paper. These are tea-stained. It's just various papers, ledger paper, notebook paper, graph paper. I think that's a guess check. Um, so they're all just different, but a uh, cute little insert into a journal and not very, uh, you know, low profile. So that's the first one. This is the second one. And if you buy a set, they're, they're always different. You just never know what is, inspiration is going to, to strike. So they're all different. This one, again, has a piece of vellum. And then I just stamped on it. And then it has a piece of... Uh, blue jean and then rhinestone and then this one is just again uh, various papers this one I don't believe is tea stained it's just plain paper and but you could uh, you know uh, distress it if you wanted and so that's the second one and then uh, this is the third one of the small ones uh, again a piece of vellum and some lace and some rhinestone and then this one the pages are all the same they're all notebook paper that have been tea stained and um, this would be more of a writing insert, but you could do pictures. But uh, again, low profile. Um, and that's the small ones. And then uh, the larger ones, the small ones are, are about three and a half by four. And then the larger ones are uh, four by about six, four by six. So this one I made with a, a piece of file folder and again it has a piece of vellum or deli paper and I stamped confidential on there and then I added a metal rim tag. This is part of the uh, cancel check that I have behind it. I just added it on the front. I thought I liked that. And then this is an original copy of an old, or it's not a copy, it's an original old cancel check. I believe it's from 1921. So I added that, and then the rest are just tea stained, uh, you know, various papers. There's a piece of map paper. There's This is an old ledger from, uh, I believe, the early 1900s. And then just a piece of uh, graft paper. And then at the bottom I put a little uh, lace trim. And so that's that one. That's one of the larger ones. And this is the last larger one, and I may have to pull the, the camera up here so we can see it a little bit better. But it's um, this one is again four by about seven, and uh, again, the corrugated cardboard, the metal fastener, uh, some rhinestone uh, trim. This is um, a uh, guest check, and then a piece of jelly paper. And then again, just the various tea stained papers, writing papers, places for uh, pictures, that type of thing. So that's this one. And again, I sell them in sets of five, two large, three small. And um, they're always, like I say, different. Uh, but they're for sale in my shop. Then I also sell, um, it's an insert, it's like a trip itinerary or trip, to, uh, you know, trip traveler's notebook insert. Uh, again, it's a file folder. 
it has a metal clasp. You could change out the pages. You don't have to use the pages that I use, or you could add more to it. But I'm more of a record keeper, so I love to know, like, what was the itinerary? How much was gasoline? How much gasoline did we use? Where did we eat? Where did we stay? How much did it cost? So that's the idea behind these. And so this one has your itinerary, and then a top 10 for your trip. And then this, again, is a gasoline page. And then this one is uh, the hotels, and then your meals, and then that's just the back. So it's just a little insert, but I, I sell these in sets of threes, but they're a lot of fun, and you could customize them any way you wanted. And then uh, I also sell in my shop um, tea-stained metal rim tags, and I sell them in different sets. This one is more of a postage set, and the person who bought it, I believe, you know, goes with the uh, trip itinerary. So the first one is just a canceled uh, stamp. This one is a little airplane with a six cents. It looks like a post, uh, post stamp. Uh, this is a Paris, uh, looks like stamp. And then this one says registered first class. And then this one says please hand cancel. And then this says post Milano. And then this is just one an example of one of the tags. And I added uh, a stamp and then I added the cancellation uh, tag on there. Or stamp on there, excuse me. So that's just uh, some of the things I sell. I also sell in my shop, I sell these rusted uh, bulldog clips. I sell them with a little rhinestone trim on there, or just plain. And I use these in my junk journals as um, book closures. Here, I'll show you real quick, just a second. This is my holiday journal that I have. And um, let me see if I can change the camera so you can see it a little bit better. Um, uh, this is my holiday journal, and this is the bulldog clip. Like it just clips on there, and then it has a chain, and then a clip at the back. So that's how I use those, and that might be something you're interested in. I, like I say, I sell them with rhinestones or plain. And uh, that was just my video today. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, I wanted you to see some of the things that I'm making. Maybe I'll get brave and and do an instructional video soon. Thank you.